Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hello and welcome. My name is Sharon. So today I am super excited to share with you five holiday DIYs using items from the Dollar Tree. Let's get started. As I said earlier, the items that I'll be using today came from the Dollar Tree and I'm sure they're all quite recognizable to you. So I am going to make a snowman globe. I am going to take the, what size is this? This is the 4.9 by 3.9 uh, bubble vase. And I am going to fill it with some faux snow. And I'm going to use some googly eyes for the eyes of my snowman. And I'm going to give him a top hat. Uh, normally you see the snowman with the black hat. I decided to do something a little different using one of the plastic uh, bells from the Dollar Tree. I also think this would also make an awesome top to a gnome. I know there are some of you out there that uh, make gnomes and I think this would make an awesome hat. You can paint this red or black or any other color that you choose to and I think it would make a really cute gnome. But today I am going to use it to make a snowman. This video is in conjunction with the Ultimate Christmas DIY and Decor collaboration and is being hosted by Natalie of Design to the Nines. I will link Natalie's channel down below in the description box and I will also leave a link to the playlist. I'm gonna create the face first. Okay, let me move all this stuff out of the way. There seems to be, I thought there was more than two sizes in here, but it's not. It's the small, like regular size eyes, and then you have the larger ones. So I'm gonna use the larger ones on here. I'm gonna use this for the nose. This came off of um, another Dollar Tree item that I picked up that I won't be using today, but I picked it up really because I wanted the nose. <laughs> With the tip off. So I have his little face together and now I am going to feel. And they had two sizes of this and I got the small ones just so you know. So I didn't get the larger ones. I apologize guys. I thought I was recording and apparently I was not. The only thing that you missed is I hot glued on the top hat for the snowman and I placed him on a pedestal. I have a few more projects yet to go, but don't forget to leave me a comment which project did you like best. And I'd also appreciate if you gave me a thumbs up. And now I'm gonna make a simple winter holiday candle holder. All right, so I took the sticker off the bottom of the jar and I cleaned it and of course I'll have to clean it again because I need to handle it and it'll get all fingerprinted up again uh, but I'm going to add these gel cleans to the base hey guys let's connect on social media on Instagram and Pinterest at creative glam one I'm going to leave additional photos to this video over there. Stop by and check me out and make sure you follow. I'm going to put a couple snowflakes.
This is turning out to be a snowman themed DIY Christmas decor. Now I'm going to add a Dollar Tree candle. If you wanted to make it look more like a centerpiece, you can use something like this uh, to place underneath. I believe I got this from the Dollar Tree some time ago. It used to be black and I spray painted it silver. You don't have to use the snowman. You could just use the snowflakes on there. Again, I would put them on the outside of the vase if you're going to use a candle that's going to produce any type of heat. Okay, so I am going to make a winter themed sign. I got this picture frame from the Dollar Tree and it had the little doggy print in the center. I popped that out. I'm going to keep the frame white so I won't be painting it today, but I will be covering up the background of this picture frame with my Echo Park decorative winter paper pack. Um, I think I'm going to be using the ones with the snow flake on the um, mittens. I thought that was so cute. And I'm also going to be using um, decorative stickers that I got from the Dollar Tree. I like that one that says Season's Greetings. I think that's the one I'm going to pull from there. And I also think I'm going to use that little pink one that's super cute. Let's move my papers out of the way. And I got this, um, and I ordered this from uh, online. I got it a few years ago and it is full of winter themed goodies and I love it. I love this paper pack quite a bit. So I'm going to trace the paper out using an exacto. Take this season's greetings and I'm gonna place it mm, I guess like in the top portion and then the penguin the snowman there and then this little penguin I have to get him in there Now I'm going to make my winter scene snow globe. I'm going to take a piece of styrofoam that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to take and take some washi tape. What do they call it? Glitter ribbon? I call it washi tape. Now that I've got the washi tape, or well, the glitter ribbon on, I'm going to create my scene. I'm going to use this snowman. Uh, this is something that I already had in my stash. And um, I'm going to take my little pine tree, a white pine tree, and a little pine cone. All three of these items are items that I already had in my home. I think I like the way they're sitting. And then I'll take a little glue, a little hot glue, and I'll glue them down.
cute is that? It has a little snow hat on it. Which project did you like best? Let me know. Leave me a comment below. I appreciate you being here, and I'd also appreciate if you gave me a thumbs up. And again, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell. Hit it twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And now that you made it to this point in my video, at the end, click one of the video links to see more home decor by Creative Glam. And with that being said, have a blessed day, and I'll see you right back here in my next video. Bye!